Good day, everybody. I'm so happy to see you virtually in this occasion and having the pleasure to join International Virtual Conference on Language and Literature 2020. Well, in this occasion, I would like to present my article entitled Promoting Online Translation Practice Model based on Google Classroom blended learning mm -hmm. and teaching translations. Well, the idea of having this topic is that translation is a compulsory subject found in several study programs at universities in Indonesia. However, the implementation of translation learning is still not running optimally. This is presumably because the teaching and learning environment is not is monotonous and does not provide opportunities for students to translate actively and the implementation of teaching that is to orient it towards excessive explaining. Therefore, it is necessary to carry out active and innovative translation teaching efforts that allow the formation of translation skills. Then the online translation practice model in translation learning is promoted. This ongoing research reveals the process of activities in online translation practice model in improving translation learning skills and explaining the extent to its students' ability to understand written discourse through online translation practice model. Well, in this model, students are exposed in a cycle of translation activities consisting of translation learning, discussion, exercises, and assessment. The design of translation learning consists of the selections of local cultural documents, the translation process, and the creation of translation examples. After the presentations, then followed by a deepening discussions of the materials. Then students are trained to translate local cultural documents from the source language into the target language. Their translation results are then evaluated. The results of the exercise are then assessed to measure their competence. This exposure is conducted virtually in Google Classroom platform. In translation practice, meaning that students are doing the translation process in which the process consisting of the preparation, translating, and editing. In preparation means that students have to understand source text, preparing dictionaries and related texts, and also focusing on style. Translating means students have to understand meanings, lexical, social, cultural meanings, and then considering the style consisting of idiomatic expressions, dictions, or even the punctuation. And also students have to decide to use different kinds of strategies in translating, like adaptation, cult, modulations, borrowing, descriptive equivalent, superordinate, subordinate words. And in editing, students have to check and polish the naturalness of the translation chart. Well, um, <clears throat> this research collected and examined data in the form of qualitative data. The data are gathered from 20 students of English department and the translations of local cultural documents. I mean the documents on Madrid culture. These documents are exposed in learning materials as well. The data are analyzed using interactive model analysis. 
and this is the finding the findings are uh, written in the translation assessment results well um, <clears throat> the quality of the translation is judged according to the translation categories they are very good translations good translation sufficient translation and per translation the results of the analysis are quantified to the sample by giving numbers based on the translation criteria and by taking the lowest value range in its category then the results are obtained from the first assessment it can be taken or it can be obtained that the mean score of the translation is 61.20 and the second assessment the mean score is 62.5 from these two assessment results when summed and taken average it produces a final value of 61.85 by looking at the range of values in the category of translation assessment results the translations of the documents falls into the 6175 value range which falls into good translation so the conclusion is that this interim study shows that implementing online translation practice model based on google classroom blended learning can enhance students ability and it is implied that blended learning is no longer the choice of today's translation learning but this is required thank you very much